Hi friends over there at Lincoln. I just wanted to create a quick tutorial to show you some of the resources that are available to you digitally for um, supporting the makerspace. So the first thing I wanted to show you is the OPAC website, um, how to get to it. It's actually a database, not a website, and what you can access from that database. So if you go to schools and then Lincoln Elementary, and then you're gonna go to the Lincoln Library internal link. Okay, so then once you are into the OPAC database, you'll see that you can search for various things um, and see kind of what books are available, what books aren't available. Um, this is kind of a nice resource, just a side note for students to maybe even look and see what's in the library before they get to the library, then they might have a plan of what they wanna get when they are looking to check something out. But anyways, back onto Makerspace. If you go to the search engine and just type in Makerspace, you'll see that Christy has cataloged all of the materials that are available to you in regard to Makerspace. So not only are the products cataloged in here so that you understand like what's at the building and what is at the district, um, all the things that are at the building are going to be in this catalog. But also you will see that there are some books. So um, some books for some fun ideas of cool Makerspace gadgets and gizmos. Uh, down here, I can make fantastic flyers. I can make toys. So if you're searching for different ideas or ways to use the makerspace, know that there are some of those tangible resources available to you in the Media Center. Um, if you click on the product, for some of them, there will be an external link that links you to like a description of the project uh, of the product. Um, under the details tab, you might see some of the actual pieces that are included with that product. Um, just if you wanted to get an idea if you have everything you need to conduct uh, a different activity. So that's one resource that I wanted to show you today. Another resource, we're going to go back to the Canton District website. Um, and up here, I'm going to toggle over to the staff tab, and we're going to go to technology resources. So this is going to bring you to the website that I created. Um, and on the top here, you'll see that there's a link to Makerspace. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on Makerspace. And then within this site, you're going to find some really valuable resources. So if you go up to the tab of Lesson Resources, then you'll see that there are just a couple right now. I'm trying not to bombard it with too many, um, but a couple slide presentations. This slide presentation is going to give you overviews if you need a refresher on what some of the products are. And then there's also direct links. If you click on the slides, you'll see there's direct links to lessons um, that would help you to get started. The lessons that are in these presentations are gonna be more beginner lessons. So if you haven't, for example, started like the Sphero, then this would be a good place to start to look for some different lessons. So just to show you what that looks like, we're going to go here. I have actually identified, you know, draw letters and shapes. So how would you do that with the Sphero? If you click on the blue link, it will bring you to the actual lesson plan that tells you the grades that it would be appropriate for and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions for how you would actually have to do that. Okay, so that's just in that presentation. This next presentation is math specific. So how you can use some of the tools in the Makerspace to enhance your math classroom. Um, again, the blue links link you to direct lessons that are gonna help um, you reinforce some of those different concepts. Some of them overlap from those two presentations. This resource right here is pretty amazing. This is a education guide, educator guide developed by um, Kiva. And what's cool about it is it gives this table of contents, which is just a nice overview showing you some of the things you can do with cable planks that maybe you didn't think about. So um, for example, maybe if you're working on comparing in your curriculum, you can use the cable planks to reinforce the concept of comparing. And if you want to know how, then you just scroll through this 80 page manual to find the lesson that is pertinent to you. Um, 
And you'll see that there are, you know, step-by-step -step lesson plans. They'll tell you the materials that you need and what you'll need to actually conduct that, what the objective is, um, how maybe you can even extend the learning if you had an extra time. So what's really awesome as well is that it links this to some of the math and science standards for each grade and kind of just gives you uh, an idea of how you can really integrate this particular tool to the current curriculum that you're already using. Uh, beneath that, this is stop motion animation. And so this is just a great resource to show you what stop motion animation is. You have stick bots and iPads in your makerspace. You also have a green screen, um, so you can do a lot of fun things. There's video tutorials, uh, all in here, different video tutorials. Um, if you just keep scrolling down, there are so many resources, it's, it's overwhelming. Um, but, you know, they are here for you so that you can see how you can best use some of these different. So stop motion and lesson planning, um, you know, engage elementary students with stop motion animation. So lots of resources there that can help um, enhance the things that are happening in your classroom. And then finally, this last resource that's down here is uh, just what can we do with some of the crazy things that are in our makerspace? And so this gives you ideas of different inventions that students can make with the recycled materials. Um, really nice resource. It does include using some of the things that are in the makerspace. For example, this is making different cardboard out of recycled materials, but you're also using the make do product that is in the makerspace. And um, again, there's some books even that could be associated with it, step-by-step uh, -step processes, and just all kinds of really neat resources um, for you to help enhance your curriculum. So if you have any questions on how to access any of these materials or you want to sit down and talk about how this might look for you and your students and making the most of your makerspace time, I'm happy to help you. Um, Mrs. Fife is also happy to help you, especially with the OPAC website and how to research um, and navigate through that. Have a great day. Thanks so much.